More grubs in the miner's basement. Big enough to keep the miners from the tools they need to work. The kingdom needed the miners to find iron to arm its soldiers with no delay. The grubs were in the basement, and so were the miners' tools. The mine was at a standstill until they were dealt with. The grubs were dead, and the miners could collect their tools. They swore to work day and night until the kingdom's iron needs were met. Another bug hunt. At least these ones kept their distance. Just when Reggie thought he was done, Robin arrived to tell him he'd found another nest.
the mozzy nest was packed with eggs. Robin hoped they'd survive to tell the story, as no doubt it'd be a fine one. built on dead bugs. More mozzies. These ones slammed the floor with such power it made the whole room shake. The mozzie's dead. Reggie wondered where they kept coming from. Now the smithy was so finely rebuilt, his brother could maybe do something with all those blueprints Reggie had collected. Now the chef had a new kitchen. He promised to finally feed Reggie like a king. No more stale cheese. The village shopkeepers might have the bread, milk, and mushrooms he wanted, if some rat would kindly fetch them. If the king wanted milk, he'd have to go to the source, the farm. The king had forgotten to dispose of the corpse of Blocky Magoo. Even dead frogs bring trouble. Grubs. These pups had lost a toy when hiding from the frogs. It might be the smallest of casualties, but the king would look for it all the same. The pups were overjoyed to have their toy back. Reggie told them it was the bravest teddy in all ratdom.
farmer's pride and joy. Not pretty, but it had quality milk. Robin had brought news that a vicious nest of grubs had moved into the tower. No one knew what had brought them there. Reggie swore to find out himself. The ranger had cleared the grubs that had got out, but the nest in the basement still needed to be dealt with. This statue almost seemed to glow. It belonged somewhere it could be seen and appreciated. Grubs and the foul frog remains were gone. The tower was safe for the rangers to use again. Now the chef had his bread, mushrooms and milk. Reggie hoped the food would improve as promised. A juicy mushroom burger. Reggie felt healthier already. The smith's blueprints were destroyed by the frogs. 
The only other copy is the original blueprints of smithing, buried with their great-grandfather in the forbidden crypts. He went to open it with his key, but he heard something in there, almost like singing. Reggie thinks the smith has listened to too many old rat tales. <laughs> 